Well, hey friends, have you ever had someone say to you, I went to the school of hard knocks? You know, the reality is the Bible is trying to keep us, God's trying to keep us from the school of hard knocks. He's trying to give us wisdom so that we don't have to suffer the consequences of making bad decisions. He's trying to surround us with good friends who have walked wisely, who have made good decisions uh, in their relationships, in their finances, in their business, whatever the case might be, God is trying to keep us from the school of hard knocks. And there's a lot of people running around. It might be you. You're running around saying, ah, I like the school of hard knocks. I'll never forget uh, talking to a friend one time. And, and uh, we were talking about life decisions that were being made. And I looked at that person and I said, you know, you are on the path to get an education from the school of hard knocks. And that person looked at me and said, I like the school of hard knocks. Friends, God has something better. Listen to these words from Proverbs 13, verse 15. It says, good understanding produces favor. A good understanding, a good knowledge. The wisdom of God produces favor in the world. In other words, you don't take the beating. But listen to this. But the way of the treacherous, those who do foolish things, those who do wicked things, those who do unfaithful things, those who do uh, things that are, are, are intrinsically um, deceptive. Listen to this. It produces hardship. The way of the treacherous is hardship. The way of the unfaithful is hardship. You can apply this in marriage. You can apply this in the workplace. The bottom line is this. God is warning us that there are two schools. His school, and it leads to favor and it leads to blessing. And then there's a school of hard knocks. How do we get on the school of hard knocks? Well, we're prideful. We're self-centered. We're selfish. We ignore God. We ignore his ways. Friends, avoid the school of hard knocks. God, I just pray that you would give us wisdom and give us a heart to follow you so that we do not suffer the consequences uh, that we see happening all around us. God, we know it's our propensity to be proud, to be self-sufficient, to be uh, thinking that we have it all together. God, keep us from the school of hard knocks. Keep us from ourselves, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, friends, hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his promise. Hold on to his presence. He's going to carry us through.